Get her hair into a pond. Yeah. It's just swinging in my face. So I'm at Edwards, and there's this super cute Rifidophora tetrasperma. I'm looking around at some of their house plants, and I think that they have more somewhere else. But they have some philodendron here too that are really nice. I don't know what this is, but that's adorable. Calinopsis, Calinopsis, Calypse, Calinps. I can't even say that. Oh, cute oxalis. I don't even know what this is. Cute. Got Colocasia black magic. Or black gecko, I guess. And then they have philodendron hope salmon, which is cute. You don't really see them in this size. This is Clathea lightsii. And then a Sansevieria. I don't know this species, but he's real cute. And these uh, carnivorous plants are in really good shape. I really like this beauty star. You think this one is better? You think? No. That one has a bunch of damaged leaves. It just has some newer leaves. Oh, maybe. Thrown hands. Thrown hands, yeah. Um, is this the newer one? So you lose a big up top. Yeah, I was looking for this one. I was looking at this one earlier, one but. Too, huh? Well, it's just sun. They're burnt. Like, it'll go away. It's putting in a couple new ones, so. Let's do this one. A subscriber sent me. A beauty star that they were trying to rehab in hopes that I could save it. I could not save it. <laughs> you gotta keep your mask you on. Try. I'm I'm just like saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the begonias. These are all outside begonias, except for Benigo, which is this pink one right there, and Ascargo is right there. Here's a cute little staghorn mount. Look at that. That's so cute. It's $60. I think that would be I'm so jealous. I want one of those. I want to find a curtain rod that I can put above my my windows. Here we have some more Rifidophora. These guys are selling for $36. I guess that's not too bad. They're pretty big. But I love this staghorn back here. That's so pretty. So cute. And then that's a jasmine. This whole tree right here, or bush, I guess. And all of these are Stromanthi Trio Star. Wow, this feels so good. Oh my gosh, and look at this Plowmanii. This is an Anthurium Plowmanii. That's incredible. That's so cool. He's house plant shopping for his girlfriend. She's on FaceTime with him. Oh, Peperomia Frost. Cute. And then all of these are just, looks like regular uh, Carnosa Compacta for 30, 33. Cute. There's a Monstera. Looks so cute. And then over here, we have a bunch of Calathea. So cute, oh my gosh. More beauty stars, those ones are more expensive. Oh, these are so good. I really like that one. Over this big birds of paradise. <laughs> Am I in your way, should I move? Are you sure? We'll ask my parents which one of these is better. Down here we have a bunch of snake plants. These guys are all only $9. That's such a good price. Oh, baby Audrey. Baby Mike is Audrey. Is this weird? I'm wearing a mask. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Got some Spathophyllum Domino. Oh, another Plowmanii. They got a second one of these. That's incredible. $165, wow. Okay, so put my hair up on a bun because I hated it in a ponytail. And also my camera overheated. It's very hot in here. But I'm trying to decide between these two. This one has nicer, newer growth coming in, but the composition of this one overall is much nicer. Which one do you guys think is better? 
Both. Okay, I'm not getting both. You <laughs> to pick one. Then the one with the nice new growth because you know it's healthy and throwing in This one has enhanced. new growth too. It's just this is like more variegated. Which one makes you happier when you look at it? Which one sparks joy? Both of them. <laughs> Dad's shaking his head. Which one do you like the most, Sean? Yeah, Dad, which one do you like the most? This one? Which one did Dad say? I can't tell. Did you point to this one? He, this? Dad likes this one. I like this one more. More narrow? But... Yeah, it's just, it's got a nicer composition, right? It just looks prettier overall. So I found this. This entire thing is only $45, which is incredible because it has this active growth point, this one, this one, and this one. And I think that there's one more, yeah, right here. Well, actually that one's not active, that one died. But still, this is like probably at least 10 years old and it's growing right now. My only fear is bugs because pests are hard to find in these things, but this is like, that's like a specimen, you know what I mean? Mom doesn't like these plants. I do too, I have two little ones I thought you didn't like them. No, they remind me of ribbon and I love ribbon. But you're right, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I can always dunk it in a bath. Yeah, you could. That's I would, what you'd have to like set them aside. And I'd want to repot it too. Set them aside for a while and make sure you don't and see anything. And this is, it's growing off right here too. That's amazing. Yeah. You could put this on a vine, like on a, Well, this is something that up. I would like to hang. I'm talking oh. to my dad right now about having me help, or helping me put up a, a little bar, like a little curtain rod, but instead of curtains it would be plants <laughs> yeah so I don't know that feels great to me and then I could put the calathea back and I could get this in the beauty star because I already have one of those white calathea I don't know I feel like I'd be dumb to not buy this normally it's like $40 for like a tiny one don't be dumb don't be dumb <laughs> words from my mom don't be stupid stupid <laughs> Actually, that's so I love the smell of jasmine but I've never grown it successfully I just sorry I just can't but like Gorgeous. Literally, this is so big. Yeah, I just don't have this kind of humidity available to me. It would not be happy. Okay, I think I'm gonna get it. I just graduated college. I got graduation money. How could I not? Why are you coming back? Because I can see your eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna get the beauty star, and I think I'll put this one back since I already have it. <laughs> After we made all of that decision? Well, I don't know. It's like $15. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit. That's so long. You don't even understand how hard it is to find Hoya that are grown out this much. That is so big. I'd be um, a little concerned that Raven would decide that that's She doesn't right. play with any of my hanging plants. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's literally incredible. 150. You can't see it. That's literally. Yeah, look at him. Two plants. Look at that. Here, get me next to it so you can see how big it is. Got a broken arm. It's okay, it's the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to That's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Love a good trio star. That's so cute. $11. Looks like they're really sold out of plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These look like the ones that were here the last time I was here. Uh, Peperomia. Obtusifolia. Shape that I've seen. Yeah, it's wild. I've just never seen it this empty. There's not even a pie plants. That new leaf right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, brand new leaf. Beautiful. It's real cute. This is a Spathophyllum. Oh, it's a variegated one, but it's like weird. Let's see if it says Platinum Mist. How cute does that look? The leaves mm. come in white and they fade to green. Oh, that's really pretty. It's a peace lily. This place is always loaded. I just figured they'd still be loaded. They got some up high plants over here, but 
Not many. So we're back at the house. I just wanted to show you guys my new setup real quick because you haven't seen it. It's been like this for like two weeks. I think I like glossed over it for a second, but I moved all my Hoyas to this table. So this is really just like a lot of Hoyas and then cuttings and then I have a photophora here. My little cactus and those guys. I'll do a more in-depth tour later. I just wanted to show you guys like the sitch. Here's the elbow that I'm giving away right now. He's just vibing, chilling. Here's mine. We got a new leaf. So that is super cool. And then obviously here's the shelf. This is tentative. I don't know if it's gonna stay like this, but the string of hearts is getting very, very, very long. It is very long. And then uh, the new one, he's doing fine. We're getting some new growth. This Hoya is having problems. I need to put it in a thicker mixture because it's not retaining moisture in the uh, orchid bark only mix. And then I moved all my greenhouse plants over here. And then some of them over here, they're drooping right now because they need to be watered. So I'm bottom watering them right now. You can see the water's in here. And then the new forgetty eye leaf is coming in nicely. And yeah, this is kind of the new setup. Obviously this is not a full in depth tour. Get a new leaf there too. So nice. But and there's Chris and my mom and my cat. We're cleaning right now. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to your mothers. Here's these guys. I need to take the tape off this one. I'm still trying to find someone to give this wrap away to. Uh, please don't ask me about it though. I did that in one video and I said, tell me if you want it. And then I got hundreds of messages to my Instagram and it was too much. <laughs> Do not message me if you want it. Just follow me on Instagram. Don't message me. I'll announce stuff there. But this is kind of fun. Look, this is a Plowmanii. He's got almost no roots. He's got actually like only one good root, but. We went to the North End Organic Nursery and they didn't have like anything because I guess, um, it's not an essential thing. So because they're mostly an agriculture business, they're not allowed to like just import, not import, but like order new plants for inside. They can only do outside. Yeah, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna go Home Depot and we're gonna find a curtain rod for right here so that I can hang plants here. And my dad's gonna do it because he's super handy with that kind of stuff. Oh, and then obviously I have these two new humidifiers. Please let me know in the comment section if you want a video on them. I know a lot of YouTubers have talked about Alec Homes uh, and my deal with Alec Homes was just to do Instagram stuff. But if you wanna know how the humidifiers are working, I'd love to tell you. <laughs> wow, look at the string of hearts. They look so nice. Straighten her out. Cute. Oh my gosh. This is the only, like the first Refitifor leaf I've ever been able to get to come out on my own. Isn't that awesome? And then also my pink, not pink princess, my Carnosa thing. <laughs> what am I starting to say? My Carnosa, Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, there we go. It's putting out new leaves there and then all of these new leaves, or all of these leaves right here are new as well too. Well, see you at Home Depot. We got a lot of plants, folks. I'm excited. Look at how many plants there are. There's never plants here. Look at this guy, Chris. He's so blue. Oh, cute. I just got a Lowe's credit card. Oh, it's so cute. Love the Maranta. They have Selaginella. That's kind of crazy. I love Selaginella. That's a nice Monstera, too. $34. That's incredible. They got so much Calathea. Like all these medallions. And then they got Latesy. Lightsei. Lightsei? This is the unvarigated version of Calathea White Fusion. They got a staghorn basket for $20. That is so cute. Some more ferns. Hello, oh, it's very overexposed, wow. <laughs> they have some really nice plants. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, today. they never have nice plants here. True. That's only $34. Cute. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture with you, okay. So I have these two. Also, I changed my outfit. It was too hot to wear <laughs> just a shirt. 
So I was looking between these two. They're both 20. Oh, look at that long one. Huh? I know, right? This one has damage a little bit. I say the one on the, this my one, right, your left. I think this one too. What's crazy is that there's these big ones and then this is also $20. I feel like this should be half the price. I don't know. They're both the same pot this size. This is way bigger. And you just I'm have just to be a good plant. shopper. Sure. I mean, they don't gauge it that way, unfortunately. Like it, but it could have a capacity to this do what 14. this one is doing. So why does this one say Who knows? Yeah, it's, this is $20. It's your lucky day. <laughs> That's super know. stupid. And then there's this monster on the Ooh, that's cute. Drag him on over. Oops. Look at that. $30. Are you kidding me? Many babies down inside. And inside he's got a lot Look at of all those babies. babies happening. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I don't have a spot for him though, so someone's going to get real lucky with a nice Oh, look at this new. Too. Did you see the new leaf? Yeah, he's got some problems. Though. Oh, yeah, he does. Poor guy. And then look at those. These blue ones. That is so massive. That's a really happy plant. Yeah, I have plant. a small one, and he's. I didn't give him enough water, so. He's a little struggling, but. Ferns. Ferns are the best. There's also Maranta. Which is never ever at most. This is Maranta Luconura Key Lime. Which is huge. It's a lot of detail on those leaves. Look yeah, at the detail on that. Yeah, that's so nice. Is it velvety? Yeah. You can feel it. I don't know. I really want a ficus too. I just don't have a spot for a ficus. And I want a big one. I just need to get a house, that's the problem. <laughs> Oh, they have these Goya. Hold on, look at these. These he is over here. <laughs> they have this Goya. This is $24. I think it's way giddy eye. I'm not sure. There's a Trandoscantia growing in it too, which is kind of cute. It looks kind of uh, so straggly. These, uh, green bean Goyas. We're not being safe. Attention customers, please do not sit on patio furniture. Uh, Thank or the, you or the riding lawn mowers. I, I couldn't see it from this side, so I was <laughs> That's why it's on this side in front of the furniture. Great, let's go get the curtain rod. Recording. I love him. Happy graduation to me! Do you think this should be long enough? I don't know. Are you joking? Oh. Go all the way through the house. I wish I knew your jokes. Let me, let me enough. do. You think this is long enough? Oh, I get so big. We're putting the curtain rod up. All the plants have been moved. The elbow's right there. I'd show you guys out the window, but then you know you'd know where I live, so I won't be doing that. One, again, we can't really make level. The way these are made is you put a screw in, or something's there. There's wood back there, so we can't freak. The screw has to go back. Well, I know what. I could make the hole. Well, because then we can just, if it's easier to just wait, I don't mind waiting. So we could make the hole, we could make a big hole so the screw will slide in. The problem is, if the wood is here, it only goes to there, so the screw sticks out, it can't get tight. But if I drill a hole through the wood, through the wood this can you cinch can up. the wood. But it has to be longer, right? Well, that piece just has to be able to flick out. Yeah, but does it have here. to be longer than two inches then? So my dad finished putting up thingy, the curtain rod. It looks really cute. It actually matches the rest of my furniture. And it looks really good with the plants on it. This is the only angle you guys can see with light. <laughs> the rest of it's just a silhouette, but... I'm excited for my plants to get even light now on all sides. Raven. 
I know you. See, look. That looks so nice. Imagine when there's more. <laughs> Apartment's really coming together. Now we are going to a succulent day. And then we're gonna go see Christopher's family. But yeah, we're gonna go to a second. It's not fun if we can't go in together. <laughs> oh, looks like they have a sale happening, which is always nice. This is so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna let you um, here with Jen. I have to run to a meeting. Okay, but, it's um, good to see you. Dad, look at these little cactus gardens. No, you probably They're so cute. We love good cactus. This one has a string of dolphins in it. Oh, yeah. Cute, it's some roofsalis. Adorable. Adorable, I love that yellow. It's so cute. And the stems are yellow too. We got some kokodamas. Those are cute. I just love this store so much. I want to have like a bunch of this kind of stuff hanging from my ceiling someday. You can hang some of those off of your pole now. Oh my gosh, you're right, I can. And I can get hooks like that too to make them hang longer. Wow, my life is changing, all thanks to you. <laughs> this is a cool pot. I love these ones. These are made from a person in Australia. And they're like a really interesting material. I don't really know how to explain it, but like, yeah. It's a resin. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what they're mixing with it, but yeah, it's a resin. Capra designs. instead of making it like a normal pot. That is so cool. Wow. Sorry, that's just so unique. I love this little fern kokodama. Oh, it just got watered. That is heavy. It is very heavy. I wonder if it has a price. Probably doesn't, I'll have to ask. That's so cute. Oh yeah, and they give us gloves. So you don't have to touch anything. These are so cute. I just love a good uh, trio star. They're so nice. Maybe they're in your car. No. <laughs> your keys? Do you lose your keys? Yes. Oh no. Those are cute. I have one already though. It's hard to justify buying plants that I already have. I love these pots. That's so cute. I love the little designs in it. What? It's little pieces of like sea glass. So they mix it into the into the cement. cement. Oh, cement. yeah. There is one plant I have been liking, and they haven't been selling them around here lately, which is this guy, which is a Pilea peperomioides for sixteen dollars. That's a good thumbnail. I'll probably get this guy. Anytime they have string of hearts here, I always buy it. I can't help myself. They're just like the best little plants. Check these out. These are blue aloe. If you were to touch this, it would like rub off, rub off this stuff. They're so cool. They have this awesome serious Pervianus right here, which is just absolutely like massive. He's very blue. gorgeous yeah those are the flowers mm -hmm. they're gonna bud like bright orange oh. yeah like bright orange and hot pink it's incredible okay I'm gonna get this guy I dug it out of the back of my closet I must have gotten it in high school or something and, and you're like oh I know I have something I can wear Oh, I'm so excited. I had no idea it would get so big so fast. I had one a while ago and then. then I killed it so yeah sorry your shop is just so aesthetic <laughs> So this is the last stop of the day. We just finished it a succulent day. <laughs> and I got this little Pilea peperomioides. I haven't had one of these in a long time. It was one of the first plants I bought back when I was still living in my dorm for all of you OG real ones from forever ago. And I killed it. I killed it really bad. So I've waited. I feel like I can take care of these now. So I'm gonna give it another shot. Okay, so we're back. It's been two days and I've had like five outfit changes, so I'm sorry. But I've been in my cute clothes all day. It's time to be in my sweats. And I have plants. One of them is not here, so I'll give you an insert. But I wanted to show you 
my graduation plant haul. I got some money for my graduation for plants from my parents and then from some other family members who know that I like plants. And so I bought some plants with that money and I wanna show you what I got. So the first and most exciting plant that we got is this incredible Hoya Carnosa Compacta. This guy is so long. He is very, very long and he's got a bunch of new growth like right now. This is growing from here, it's growing from here, it's growing from here, and it's growing from here, and from here! <laughs> this plant, I mean, you guys know how slow these grow. This has got to be anywhere from like five, maybe, if it was growing really fast, five years old, to probably somewhere more like seven to ten years old. This is just incredible. I wonder why this one grew so much faster than these other ones, <laughs> but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I have it hanging up in my window in the curtain rod that my dad put up. Thank you, dad. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the other plants I got, wait, is this variegated? It's got like red stem. I don't know, I'll keep you updated. It kind of looks like that new leaf is variegated. Also from Edwards, this Calathea Beauty Star, which is impeccable. I absolutely love it. I've been wanting one for a while. I had one briefly that a subscriber sent to me because Hers was dying and she knew I wanted it, she didn't want it anymore. She sent it to me, it ended up dying in my care. I couldn't do anything to save it, it was too far gone, but. Now I have my own and then I got another white fusion. I love these plants, like I've said many times because they remind me of Chris, because he bought me one on my first day when I worked at Edwards, which I don't anymore, yeah. And then I got this gorgeous staghorn fern. This thing is huge, here is it compared to my face and this we got at Lowe's for $14.99. Can you believe that? There was one that was in a smaller pot that, I mean, if you didn't skip ahead and you watched the whole video and saw, was twice as small as this, but in the same pot size, somehow for $25. How does that make sense? I don't know. All I know is that I got this massive staghorn fern for $15 and normally the tiny two inch or four inch ferns are $14. So this was an awesome deal. And the last plant that I got that is with me, well it's not with me but like it doesn't need to come in the mail, is a Pilea peperomioides which I will insert over my face right now. And it is gorgeous, it is perfect, its new leaves are coming in red for some reason which I don't understand but it's cute. And I haven't had one since I killed one when I got it when I was still living in my dorm. So it's been probably, and it died before I moved out, it's probably been a year since I've had one. So I'm excited to give it another shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at PlantMeAshley. If you want to support my channel even more, uh, you can support me on Patreon. The link is patreon.com forward slash playmeashley, or you can just find the link in the description. We are having a massive giveaway on my Instagram. By the time you're seeing this video, it either ends in one day or two days. We're giving away a Monstera Alpo, a Variegated Down and Sunny Eye, a Philodendron Birkin, a Hoya Albo Marginiata Macrophyllum thing. It's variegated. And then a Amedrium something. I don't know what it's called. Zipolinum? Zipolinium? -um? I'm not sure. And then Stranger Rock Ceramics is also giving away one of their most popular pots. So go enter the giveaway. It's winner takes all. So one person is going to win all those plants. Go check it out. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. College is done. We're about to start a new schedule. I'll release an update video once I have the schedule worked out. And I'm excited. So... Get ready for a whole lot of houseplant content because I graduated college and I have nothing else to do because we're stuck inside. Except for going to nurseries that are now open with a face mask and being very safe. The nurseries that are open, by the way, I know the video is over so like you don't have to watch it, but they're only letting like two to four people in the store at one time, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me through these last like four weeks of only one video a week. I'm so sorry. That is not my channel's norm, but uh, we're about to roll into a bunch more content, so I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching. Get ready for some videos. I'll see you in the next Houseplant video. Goodbye. <laughs>